the shelters themselves don't have to be super big and fancy, but there can be shelters that are too small. Um, what we like to see for a shelter is something that on the interior of it is, a, is at least 11 by 17 inches. That just gives enough space. When you look at a shelter, um, I mean, this is a pretty big shelter. It doesn't have to be this big and they can come in, you know, like the more rectangular. But when you look at some of those smaller shelters that a lot of people are more um, familiar with, once you actually lift the lid and you look inside, when you're thinking about lining that with an additional sort of insulation, and then you're going to be filling that with at least one quarter to a half full of straw, that doesn't give a lot of space for a cat to fit. You know, not all cats are very big, but depending on what you're looking for, like are you trying to get one cat in versus two to three, those shelters the space gets small really quickly and it just becomes becomes too small for them to work with. So something 11 by 17 is what we prefer. Um, you know, anything bigger than that is also okay. You want to avoid putting the hole at the bottom because you want to have it lifted up a little bit higher. Um, if it's at the bottom, then water and rain can get inside. So it's better to have it up a little bit higher. Also, cats can get into really small spaces. So you don't need it very large. Um, I would recommend anything like five inches or smaller. It doesn't also have to be a circle. I just have a plastic bowl that I use as like a um, stencil. And then um, when you're cutting it too, you can use the you can use this sort of like round tool if you'd like. Otherwise, I just use a serrated kitchen knife and that does the trick. After you cut the hole, you will want to use some tape and line it. And part of the reason is because with these styrofoam containers, you can see that some of the styrofoam starts to peel off, but the cats, you know, can scratch at it. So you want to, you know, maintain the integrity of the hole. And then with some of these other air, um, materials, like with the cooler or with the Sterilite bin, um, it can be a little abrasive. So we put the, um, because the cut isn't perfect, so we put the um, tape around the edge to kind of smooth it over so that there's no, you know, concern of, of the cat getting um, snagged at or cut at when they're going, you know, inside and out. Um, after you are officially done building your shelter, what I do is, um, you know, after it's lined in the hole, I fill it with straw. You just want to fill it like a fourth of the way, halfway full. And then I actually tape it shut this way, I tape it shut this way, and then I just put an extra line of tape around here. Was gonna build some shelter to just keep it as secure as possible. Um, Cause these do not weigh very much. Um, so these lids could pop off. Um, so another thing about that is when you're placing the shelter, having something heavier on top of it can be helpful. So if you put like a brick or you know, something, depending on where you're placing it, cause these things, again, they're not very heavy. So taping it shut is important. I know that you put a lot of work into building your shelters, but cats don't always do exactly what we want them to do. So um, when in doubt, you leave it out and um, the cats, cats are just naturally curious and they should come over and check it out. And if they don't end up using your shelter, another thing that you can do that's something better than nothing is if you can figure out exactly where they're sleeping, even just laying down a little bit of like a bed of straw can help because again, that straw is what's wicking away um, and repelling the water. So it's just gonna help keep them a little bit warmer.